All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. And in this video, we're gonna be walking into Walmart trying to see what they have and what they don't have. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Christina. And you are watching Plant-Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys. <clears throat> I'm just trying, I'm trying to go in and do a video at Walmart I'm trying to go do a video look at the chaos where I'm just trying to go in and do a bid EO look at this they got light they got lanes blocked is so much traffic this is ridiculous it's gonna be a bear to get out of here it is gonna be so crazy what are you doing sir <laughs> so anyway, stay tuned for another shopping video. Alright, what's up everyone? We're walking in and we're walking through the produce aisle. And it's actually looking not too bad, but these bananas look like they need some help. What y'all think? Uh how you doing? Alright. Everybody shopping like normal. Like everything is good to go. People are stocking. And everybody's being friendly. So at least they have, at least we have produce. We'll keep going. All right, so let's check some coffee prices. Maxwell House, 648. Uh, let's see this. One pound is 6.48, and this is two pounds for 8.76. So apparently, the two pound is much better buy than the one pound. So there you go, Grim Folgers is 6.96 for one pound. Two pounds looks like that is nine. Oh, that's three pounds, 9.96. So just wanted to come in and check out coffee. You guys can see. I always try to bring you guys prep alerts. These are going to be very, very, very important if anything ever happens. Why? Because it's going to give you hours and hours and hours of entertainment. So make sure you put board games in your preps. Okay? All right. Another prep alert. Prep alert. BB gun, pellet gun. Okay? I haven't bought one of these yet. I've been eyeing them. I've been looking at them. But you definitely want to get you a pellet rifle, BB gun rifle style. Okay, it's going to be great to take down small game. Uh, and that's going to be about it. I definitely wouldn't use that for self-defense. And also, another good prep item, prep alert, slingshots. Okay, and of course you can make your own. And then here's another prep alert, bows and crossbows. Okay, so prep alerts. Okay, so there's your ground beef right there. Bear spaces, bear spaces, bear spaces. So guys, y'all not gonna believe it. I just had a conversation with one of the people who are stocking the pork section. And I didn't wanna I didn't wanna break out the phone because I you know I never wanna get kicked out of places. Look at this cheese right here, y'all. And I'm I'm gonna run through um, again before I leave and I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the pork situation and the beef situation here it was only it was a very small section but I asked the gentleman who was stuck I said hey let me ask you a question I said are you seeing the supply of pork and beef go down he's like you mean as far as what we're getting I said yeah as far as what you're getting you know what this guy says he said yeah I noticed it I said are they telling y'all why he's like no I said well I'm gonna tell you I said cuz I do a I do a YouTube channel and I'm going around all the stores just looking at stuff I said, right now we're going through a beef and a pork shortage. And then I even telling anybody, he's like, I didn't know anything about it. As the eggs, y'all. He's like, I didn't know anything about it. I said, well, I said, right now in China, they have started like 250 million pigs that they can't eat because of what they're calling like the pork Armageddon. And the other guy walked up, he was like, that's why I don't eat it. I said, me either. But they're not even telling these people and that's how, that's how blind we are, folks. 
And unless you're following my channel and channels like um, Grim Survival and Homestead Hopeful Terror, unless you're following us, you're not gonna get the true picture of what's going on. And it's kind of sad because they're not telling people and people are not smart enough to start doing their own research. Now this is a guy who is stocking shelves and he's noticing it, but he don't know why. And you don't even have to ask your management. You can just go on the internet, click a couple of buttons, and bam, you'll find out what's going on. But that's how, that's how trained we are in this country to the point where we just accept whatever. So my, my thing is, wake up. Wake up. And if you, this is your first time watching this, this show or watching this channel, wake yourself up. I want to put some explicitives in there, but this is children friendly. Wake up, folks. Okay, so there's your ground beef right there. Bare spaces, bare spaces, bare spaces. All right, prep alerts. Uh, and I think I'm going to pick up another set of these right here while I'm in here. Simply because you're not going to ever be able to have enough of these right here. All right. Uh, you know, what? I'm glad I thought about it. I need some long candles. What are those candles called, y'all? I think somebody said they were called a taper candle or something. But the long candles so I can stick off of my Crisco and test this theory. All right. So looks like they are sold out of my seven gallon bottles that I use to um, to collect my water in so this is not a bad alternative that's not a bad alternative I just don't like I don't like these because um, I mean I guess the, I mean I guess if you're using them I just I went with the square ones because I like the design I knew I could stack them on top of each other you be able to stack these but anyway I just okay so you guys I uh, I got me some bananas, okay? I bought the last box of 100 of the Winchester and I bought two boxes of the 50 counts of the same. So get them while, they, while you still can. So prep alert. All right, so you guys have heard about the sugar shortage. And let's see if it's hitting the shelves yet. So here is the sugar shelf right here and you can tell it is a little a little empty okay and prep alert spices 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 folks make sure you get them all right we're always talking about the canned goods so always a prep alert top ramen prep alert okay thanks to homestead hope for terror uh and i always check progresso Okay, Progresso is still $1.58. And of course, noodles. I think we just passed. Okay, so there's so many people in here. I'm not really able to get you guys up close and personal like I like to. Because of course, the aisles that I like to go down, everybody keeps coming down those aisles. Okay, so here's the rice aisle. Uh, 20 pounds of rice. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Rice. Rice seems like it is going up drastically. Uh, this is a 20 pound bag for $14.92. And here is a 20 pound bag. Okay, here's this is better. $7.38. That's that's so much better. The uh, the Walmart brand. And then you got beans, eight pounds for $5.64 and four pounds for $2.88. So, and they do have rice. They got 10 pound bags, five pound bags, and some more rice. Oh, this is, this is what I said I was gonna start buying right here. <laughs> I said I was gonna start buying these huge six pound cans of food, but haven't really found them yet. Hadn't been looking either, so guess I'll go and see if I can't locate them. Here's some cans, canned meats, okay. Uh, don't know if you want that or not. Okay, so I'm going to check and see if the potato shortage has, has hit this Walmart or not. I'm over back over here in the produce section trying to see 
kind of short and light on grapes. I mean, grapes are looking crazy, but you know, it's not really grape season either, so I don't put too much stock in that. Uh, I always try to check the price of pineapples. I don't see, okay, here's some potatoes. All right, so we have five pound bag of white potatoes for $4.47. We got a five pound bag of, of Yukons for $3.47. And we got a five pound bag of reds for $3.97. If I hadn't checked out already, I would grab some reds so I can grow some. Oh, here are the bigger bags. Oh wow, they're cheap. Two pound bag of Idaho's for $2.92. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> and let's see here. 10 pound bags of what is this? Russet, russet, russets for three ninety four. So you can still get potatoes, even though we're going through a French fry shortage. Dun dun dun. See you guys on the outside. All right, so we are walking out of our neighborhood Walmart, and I was very happy to see potatoes. Uh, overall, you can still get food. You can get food everywhere. Um, this was predicted. I predicted it, that you'd be able to get, you know, get food leading up to Thanksgiving. I think, figured, felt like it would get more prevalent. Uh, I think we'll start seeing some things after the first of the year. I hope I'm wrong. I really truly do. But we'll see. All right, so thank you all so much for being here. And uh, stay tuned for bonus features. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to report that this Walmart does not have the gates up. Uh, this Walmart did not have the gates. Did I lock my keys in the truck? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Not in my back pocket, ha ha ha. Right here, look knife collector. Carry with me everywhere I go. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna recap this, this shopping experience real quick, just to show you guys some of the prep items I got. Uh, I picked up four more one pound cans or uh, cylinders of propane right here, okay. Uh, right there can't never have enough of those and then I picked up another 200 rounds of nine mil uh, and I think I paid $17 for the I know I paid $17 for the hundred rounds and then $18 for two boxes of 50 it was much easier to you know, I mean cheaper to get the uh, hundred rounds but they didn't have the one box of the hundred rounds so I bought that and then I bought me another couple of um, of 50s okay just so y'all know all right thanks hey everybody welcome to heart speak warrior farm i have jennifer right here with me isn't it amazing how she's doing a video but she's right here with me so what i want you guys to do come check out plant based homestead prepper when you finish keep watching heart speak warrior farm but subscribe 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 to both channels Hey guys, this is a huge milestone for us, okay? You fulfilled a 4,000 watch hours time requirement for being eligible for a YouTube partner program. We not only have fulfilled it, we have blown it away, okay? So we're at 4,000, I'm sorry, we're at over 4,000, we're at 5,000 uh, watch hours. Now all we gotta do is just get to 1,000 subscribers. So exciting. What? I got all kind of help out here, y'all can tell. What is it? You just mad because you on that side of the fence, I'm on this side, and you want to be over here helping? All right, y'all, we making progress. All right, we getting there, we getting there. But I got so much help out here. That's my help right there, Atlas. You want help? Come on in, come on in here. <laughs> they in the way, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm never gonna get this done because Atlas refuses to let me work. He wants to be over here with me the whole time. Don't you? Speak. And he's not alone. Cause here's Alexa. Lex is over here too. Alright buddy, go on the other side of the fence, okay? Go on the other side of the fence. <laughs> Alright, look, listen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it all this po this point, I want to apologize to you again about the audio. The audio was just crap in some areas. Learn something, learn not to do audio with my microphone on and having my coat and my hat and all that kind of stuff because apparently it's causing interference. 
but we got through it. Thank you for being here. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button because we are fast tracking to a thousand. We've already gotten all our watch time in. We just got to get the subscribers so that we can finally monetize this channel, turn this thing into an empire, and then start really blessing some folks in the plant-based homestead community. Thank y'all so much. I love you. Mm -hmm. Sending you love. If nobody else tells you, I love you.